What's up, guys? I don't know if you can hear me or not. I hope so. Got my mic plugged in. Camera's on. I'm back on the KLR 2019. A little late. Um, I had the bike in the garage and I didn't have a battery tender on it. Didn't have a good battery tender here. And uh, it went dead for a while. But I'm back. Um, I got a battery tender. I think it's called Battery Tender Junior, and it works great. Uh, it's 40 something at Walmart. Got it connected to my battery, so it's a plug that just stays on there. I just plug it in whenever I need to tend it, and it works great. I don't know if you guys remember this area right here. I took this off in the woods for last year. They are. Um, They've torn down all these woods and they're getting ready to build another subdivision here. So that's, that's something new here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, this was all woods and a uh, little lake back here, pond. Now it's it's going to be a subdivision. It's getting dark here soon, so I don't know how, how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm just out basically getting the bike out, getting the cobwebs off of it. All this was, uh, I guess it was a farmer's land and some woods in between it. But you can see they've, uh, they've prepared it for housing. Interesting. How they can do that so quickly. Um, I guess it was what, October maybe I was back here? Big difference. It was a little soft there. There was a little pond over here. It looks like they've... Oh, maybe it's still here. Oh, they've transformed it. Huh. They're doing something to it. I guess they're making it a runoff or something. I don't know what those big yellow things are. That's a pretty big ditch right there. I don't think I'm going through that. I 
I do love having the KLR being able to just jump off the road and go ride around places like this. Not many bikes can handle as well on the road and then give you the option to just jump off whenever you want and scoot around on some dirt. And still be highway capable anyway. What is that? Looks like an old shed out there or something. I don't know if I can get over there. Do I try? Ooh, it's a little wet. Let's see. what it looks like down here. That's wetter down here. I don't know what that is. to know though. Oh, there we go. No problems. That's an old covered bridge. Out in the middle of nowhere. down that trail. This is kind of interesting. Rope swing down here. Somebody's been swinging off and, or swinging across the creek, I guess. Looks like it's just gonna kind of back up to this neighborhood. That's that's kind of cool. Maybe somebody will use it. Sorry if I'm breathing breathing in the mic, guys. 
I don't have the best mic position here. Alright, please start. I just jumped it off. I mean, I just took it off the tender a while ago, so it should be fine, but... just dry enough for me to be out here. Sorry if it's dark guys, it's like 740 here on the east coast. It's starting to stay, stay light later but I should have got out early, I meant to get out earlier today. should be standing up for some of these little bumps but uh i get lazy guys <laughs> i've been riding off-road my whole life and um i'm kind of lifting myself up off the seat with the pegs but i'm not fully standing up i do that just to get off the seat but uh it's not like i'm you know barreling down a, a long segment of humps here so You can't tell how bumpy it is anyway on this video. I think that's about it for the uh, the tour here. That backs up to some houses over there. big equipment here. Oh, let's see what's over here. I've got the 16 tooth front sprocket and I've pretty much been in first gear uh, everywhere here. I'm in second now. back to first pretty much got to keep it in first with these humps but I still like the 16 tooth I have no problems off-road with it if any of you guys are wondering I wonder how I missed that road gear, second gear. About 20 miles an hour. Yep, 16 tooth is uh, was a good choice for me. Some of you guys may want to go slower. Or I can't imagine going slower through too much. If I'm going, if I have to go any slower, than I currently go in first gear, then it's probably too much off-road for this bike.
Alabama DS. I don't know if you guys follow him. He was asking about uh, what bike he would get to replace the KLR. And uh, he mentioned the 690. The 690 is an awesome bike. Uh, it's well made for off-road. Um, performs great. Might be, might not be as comfortable or highway worthy, you know, or at highway speeds. Um, as the KLR is, which to me the KLR is pretty much perfect uh, for a cross highway and um, off-road bike. I like possibly the Africa Twin. Um, might be another alternative. But I'm pretty happy with the KLR right now. For the money, it's awesome value. Uh, performs great on and off road. If I was doing, you know, an hour of highway driving every day, that may be different. I might be looking for more like the Africa Twin or something a little more highway worthy. Fortunately, right now I don't, so I enjoy the KLR. kind of dark guys um, come on leave the camera on and we'll see how bad it looks on video I'm not sure if I'll upload much more if I close the video down I appreciate you guys watching subscribing liking and I'm sure I'll have some more videos for you coming up soon. I know it's been a little break for me. I kind of shut down during the winter. I don't like the cold and uh, riding to work. I don't like getting up when it's freezing outside, going to work, and coming home when it's freezing also, because sometimes I work late. But um, this is the time of year right now, starting up when I'll be riding to work a little bit too, so. We'll get some more videos going. Might have some more uh, off-road clips. But you guys take care, ride safe, and I'll catch you later.